Invincible. Hello everybody, it is Chief Flamed here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, where in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to add the capability to obtain spawners as well as spawn eggs in survival mode with only a few commands. This will be a very quick tutorial. I'll try and go through this as quickly as possible. So, first of all, you're going to want to do slash give at p command. Sit. So, you know, get command block, just do c o m m and then hit tab and then hit enter because then you'll get a command block. You're going to place that down and you're going to do slash scoreboard and you're going to do objectives add and then we're just going to name this spawner. You can name it whatever you want, but if you follow this perfectly, then you'll never have a mistake. So, if we name this spawner, then right away you see that it has a bajillion different things we can put in here, and you might be so confused. All you're going to want to do is type in minecraft.mind colon minecraft.spawner. Then once you have that in, all you have to do is hit, oh, it's active, and hit done, and you see it will say created new objective spawner. Now that is good. Now you can get rid of that command block and you can place down your next command where you can do slash, um, sorry, execute. I need to learn how to spell. If entity at A, and then you're going to type in scores. You're going to do a curly bracket, and then you're going to write in whatever the name of that was. So we named this spawner, and then you're going to put a equal sign and then you're going to do 4.1 and then you're going to do a curly bracket and a square bracket to finish it off so now that executes if a player has a score of one for the spawner so then right after that you're going to want to do run and you are going to want to do give at p spawner one so you're going to put that on always active and repeat so now this one is now that this is on always active and repeat. It will give me a spawner once I break a spawner, um, a spawn cage actually. But now before we break the spawn cage, we're going to put this extra block on the top, this extra command. We're going to open this one. We're going to put it to chain conditional and always active, and we're going to do slash scoreboard players. We're going to put this to reset um, at a and you're going to put it to spawner. It's very important that you have this command. I'll show you in a little bit what will happen without this command. So now you're going to grab any old pickaxe, don't matter, and you're going to go ahead and I'm going to give myself give at p spawner. We're going to place a spawner down. It's going to spawn some lovely little pigs in. We're going to go into survival mode. When we break this, we actually get it in our inventory. Now you can see all these little nasty thingies coming up in the corner over here. What if you don't want that? Well, then just go ahead and type game rule command lock output false. All right, but you see that it told me that it is now set to false. If you want to get even deeper, you do game rule send command lock feedback false. You see, it doesn't even say that it updated that to true, but it did. So now when we break this, you see it won't say anything. It's just like normal. And I actually got the spawner and we can place the spawner down. But you might be thinking, well, what if I break a zombie spawner and then now it's just a pig spawner? Right. Well, here's the solution that I'm about to show you. If you go ahead and grab yourself a command block and you're going to place that down and make sure this one is on repeat and always active. If you do slash execute at E, um, execute at, at E, and then we're going to go type equals zombie comma name equals we're going to do extract and then you're going to put a bracket and so now if it finds this then what it's going to do is it's going to give us um, it's going to set it spawning so now I can't remember this command I'm sorry so I'm just just give me a second this is why I have the save commands right here uh, what okay I'm going to have this command linked in the description probably with the other ones so what we're gonna do the same thing like I did execute at at e zombie extract blah 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 then you're gonna do run and then you can type in summon minecraft colon item tilde 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 curling item yeah all this right here this this will be in the description um, but make
make sure that it says zombie spawning. So then after that, I have some more lovely commands. Is you're gonna want to put they'll all be in the description, so don't so don't worry about that. So then you're gonna want to put this one down here, and you're gonna do execute at at e type equals zombie name equals extract. You're gonna run play sound. You can change the sound to whatever you want, but this is just the sound that I like because I think it sounds the best. Again, make sure it's on chain conditional and always active. And you can place in your next command here. And now this is the command that actually has a particle. Now, if you don't know what we're doing yet, what we're doing is we're making it so that way you can actually right-click a zombie with a name tag that is named extract, and it will turn the zombie into a spawn egg. So right here it says execute at at e type equals zombie name equals extract. And so now it gives us this beautiful particle smoke. It gives us 20 particles of that smoke. And it will shoot it out a little bit by this point five. If, if you just want the smoke to all stay stationary, then you put a bunch of zeros. But for what we're doing, I want no five. I want it to be five. So that's how it's going to be. So now we put in the final command. Now this is the most important command of all of them. Again, make sure chain conditional and always active. That's how each one of these chain commands should be. So on the very top, make sure it's tp at e type equals zombie name equals extract. To tilde tilde negative 1,000. You can make that a bigger number if it, if it would really make you happy, but we're just going to leave it at 1,000. So now what you'll see is you'll get the illusion of actually scooping a zombie up. If we give ourselves a name tag and we get ourselves an anvil and we get ourselves a zombie spawn egg and then we do slash time set night. All right. So now if we just you know do that okay if we spawn in a zombie when we right click and watch what happens and listen oh right we, we haven't named the name tag yet so we're gonna go to the name tag and we're gonna name this extract and you're gonna want to take that name tag and you're gonna right click the zombie boom you've extracted your zombie now you get your spawning so now if you combine the two of these together so if you go ahead and give yourself a lovely um, spawner just like we did before we go ahead and place that spawner down and give ourselves a pickaxe and whatever and give ourselves more of those because we can and we go ahead and we go game mode survival now you can see you know we picked up our lovely spawner from the, the spawn room we found hey cool and you're like oh no zombie oh but I have a name tag good boom now you've extracted the zombie you can place it down and you can put that in there and now you have spawners, but be warned, when you break this block, you will not get the egg back. So now you're going to have to find another lovely little zombie guy to extract like this, and, and then you can boom. And I mean, if you really want to, you can just put them in that cage and you can wait for them to spawn. And then once they spawn, you can extract more. But it does use up your name tag. So unless you have an obedient source like an AFK fish farm or you find like a bajillion in chests somehow, it's not going to work out very well for you. So make sure that you are wise with what mobs you turn into this. So now I want to show you guys how you can customize these. If all you want is to be able to do what I have just showed you, then then just stop the video right now. Um, there is there's no point for you to watch anymore if you don't want to uh, see the outcome. Except for, just wait, I'm going to number these commands for you very quickly just so that way you know what commands are what. So this one is going to be command one, because I'm going to have these in the description. This is going to be command two. This will be command three. Command three. This one right here will be command four. This one will be um, command five. And last but not least, we have command number six. So boom. Those are all of the command numbers, so you guys will know which commands are which, and it'll all be great. And, uh, yeah, oh, and I, I can, here, I'll do slash get at the end. I'll quickly show you guys this one, too. It's scoreboard, objectives, add, and then you name it whatever you want. So we named it spawner, and then right here you do a minecraft dot mind colon minecraft dot spawner boom and then you're just gonna hit always active and that'll actually activate it so then this one I, I guess I mean we'll do this will be command what seven seven right yeah I can I can do numbers so 
there you guys go. That is how you do it. Um, <clears throat> hi, um, I am interrupting this video just to tell you to stop listening to me and listen to me. I have a great announcement for all of you lovely viewers. Um, I hope you're lovely. Um, so, big news is I am selling merchandise. Um, that, that, that's being sold. Um, so there's a picture of my merchandise right here. And it's pretty beautiful, don't you think? You can get it in black lettering, red lettering, or orange lettering, and more merchandise is on the way. And if you want to buy this merchandise for yourself, which you probably don't, the link is in the description. And, oh, God! God. So as I was saying, uh, merchandise, link is in the description as to where you can uh, buy all of my lovely merchandise. Please spend like 10K on my merchandise. And you might be wondering, Chief, why aren't you wearing your merchandise? Well, to be honest, my merchandise is in the wash right now. That's where it is. My beautiful shirt with the black lettering. Um, it's in the wash because I wear it so much because I love it. It's super comfy. It's really nice. It's sort of like this fabric right here. Um, probably just stretch my shirt. That's probably not good for it. Anyway, um, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this little interruption of myself. And, uh, back to the video. But now, I am going to show you guys how to customize these in case you really want to know how you can change the names or like whatever. So we're just going to start out right here. And you want to extract the zombie, okay? So what if you don't want it to be name extract? Well, you then you name it to whatever you want. So let's say we want to do extract zombie. Uh, oh, you can't have a space. You want underscore extract zombie, okay? So you hit done. Then you're going to have to go into this command, and you're going to have to do extract underscore zombie. Go to the next one. Extract. You get the idea. Underscore zombie. All right, extract underscore zombie. Boom. Okay, so now what you're going to have to do is if we do slash that block, tilde, 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 and they'll we're enter and we can rename these to extract underscore zombie. And now when we get our lovely little zombie friend, watch what happens. Yeah. So, what you might be thinking, oh, you're just, you know, you're just clever and you have hidden commands. No, like if I, I'm going to change this to extract and we're going to do this. Watch. He's just named extract now. But once we right click him with extract zombie, comes an egg so it's that easy for you guys so this is actually where it drops the the item it does you know like he turns into an egg so if you want to change this to something goofy like cooked beef or something you're like hey buddy i'm gonna extract you to cooked beef you can do that if you really want to like if you don't you know Change it to whatever you want. So if you don't want it to be an egg or something and you just want to do it for a map on something else, then just change that. But we're just going to put this back to a zombie spawn egg. I won. Okay. So now we're going to go into our next command, which is the sound. And you can customize the sound however you want. So I just have the item bottle fill underscore dragon blah 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 squiggle thingies that. So, you know, we just sort of have that little bit of a command there and I think it's pretty, you know, it's, okay, anyway, it's just a command, so, you can go ahead and edit that little bit to whatever you want, so, let's say, entity, I want it to be the sound of the, the zombie dying, then I'm just gonna do zombie dot death, so now, now when we extract it, it'll be the sound of death, there you go, but, my sound is much cooler, let's be honest, so now we go on to the next one, you can customize the particle to the zombie. So right here we have particle smoke. You go ahead, you can change it to whatever. I think lava is pretty cool, so we'll just change it to lava. Now this is where it happens. So if you want it to happen like ten blocks above the dude, you can just do that. It's like oh, just happened all the way up there. But you know, we're just gonna put it back at one again because I think that looks good. Now this is the amount of space it takes up. So if you want it to take up like. 100 blocks then you can do so just by like getting rid of this I'll, I mean, I'll show you what this does. I'll just do it with pens though because 100 blocks is a lot 
So now we'll get rid of this. It basically, it just it spreads it out. These are your coordinates as to how far you want the particle to spread. So you can see the particles spread sort of all around, and so it was really weak and diminished. Right. That's why we don't want it like that. But, I mean, you can add more particles with this. I could add it to 200 if I wanted. Um, you guys can do that too. And this is the speed the particle comes out at. So right now it's only at 0.5. Now it doesn't really work for lava, so I'm just gonna gonna change it to smoke. Dead yeah, just back to what it was. So for 0.5, you see when I extract them, you can see it sort of explodes. But if we if we go ahead and change this to like 0.9 or just just one, you can see that the smoke just everywhere. And now. Now, you can even change how much. We want 200 particles worth of smoke. You see that? That was crazy. All right, we're gonna put it back to 20, and we're gonna put this back to 0.5, and okay, 0.5, we're gonna leave it at smoke. And right here, now this is what actually makes the zombie disappear. So this teleports the zombie away. So, really, it's just teleporting him. So, if we were to extract him and only have him teleport to block, that happens. So, that's why we instantly want to kill him by doing a negative 1,000. So, there you go. I mean, it's a good way to uh, wreck your speaker, your headphones, whatever. Rip headphone users, I, I apologize. Um, but, also, it's just, you know, it's just not good. It's not how it's supposed to work, so make sure you have this set at something at least a thousand or down. I mean, something else might work out for you, but this is just to be safe. So do that, and and then you'll be fine. You can customize that. Now, if you want a different mob, it's just as simple as copying this whole row of commands and then just simply changing the following. You're going to want to change the name of this. So let's say we want this to be, we'll, we'll just go with a creeper good old-fashioned creeper we're gonna name this extract creeper so like that and um and then we're gonna go to this one right here and we're gonna have this be the creeper death and we're gonna go creeper death that'll work just fine then we're gonna go here and you know you, these are just all the no there's not two p's the idea you just need to make sure that you change everything that i'm doing for each mob um if you don't you're gonna have Big goofs. Um, you can do this to any any mob you want. Um, I, I don't know about villagers. Can you name tag villagers? I I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna name this Extract Creeper. All right. So now if we go ahead and set our lovely anvil again. We open this up. We name this Extract Creeper. We name this. We, oh, we'll probably change the particle too. We'll, we'll change that to explo expo, explosion, and then we'll just put that to a one because otherwise it's just crazy. And and now we can hit done. So now if we go ahead and summon a little creeper friend here, and we right click him. Oh, I I goofed. I I didn't change this. Oopsie. So, see, very important that you change everything. And I, I didn't change everything. See, well, yeah. So then make, change this too. Creeper. Creeper spawning. All right. So, it can be very confusing and very hazardous at times while working with this. But once you get it right, then it's that easy. And you got yourself a lovely little creeper spawner. And then, once you get yourself, once again, your little spawner... Your little spawner. Oh, you stupid. Give me those. Then you can go ahead and place that down. You can right click it with the creeper. But we're not, we no. Okay. So that is basically it. And it's 100% customizable. Remember, guys, if you want to change the name of what the objective actually is. So if you want to change this to, oh my gosh, I love Chief Laymed, which you probably should do, then. You're gonna make sure that in here, you have to change. Yeah, no, not this one. Um, this one. You have to change this to. Oh my gosh, I love Chief Flamehead. This little from here to here. You need to name that, and then 
from this side to that side needs to be, oh my gosh, I love cheese flakes. And, and then you're good. So, I hope that you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I did it all in one take, no jump cuts, no nothing. So, it is all there, and it is all done and dusted. And of course, you can have as many mobs as you possibly want. You can extract them all, uh, catch them all. And, like, I can have this whole chain, I can have another one next to it, and it can be dedicated to zombies, and this one can be skeletons, and blazes, and wither skeletons, and you can go all crazy. The ender dragon, the wither, um, anything. So, yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this quick little command block tutorial, and if you did, be sure to like the video, please, um, and you could also comment on the video. I would love that so much, and if you really want to, you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. That would help me out a lot. I really want to get to 20 subscribers. I know it's like nothing, but at least it's a marker. Hi, your name is Extract Creeper now. Ha ha ha. Um, so yeah, I, it would just it'd be nice, and we could stop pig abuse. One like equals one pig n not abused. All right. Well, this has been Chief Layman. I'll see you all in the next Minecraft video. Adios. I'm <laughs> sorry.